Hello learners, my name is Dr. Priya Mahajan and our today's session is on foreign investment. And in this session, we will discuss about the meaning of foreign investment, a brief introduction of foreign direct investment and foreign portfolio investment, need for foreign capital, factor influencing foreign investment in a country, and in last benefits of foreign investments in India. Now, what is foreign investment? Foreign investment is when a company or individual from one country invest in assets or ownership stakes of a company based in another country. As increased globalization in business has occurred, it's become very common for big companies to branch out and invest money in companies located in other countries. The companies may be opening up new manufacturing plants because they are attracted to cheaper labor, production and fewer taxes in another country. And they also may make a foreign investment in another firm outside the country because the firm being purchased has specific technology, products or access to additional customers that the purchasing firm wants. Overall, foreign investment in a country is a good sign that often leads to growth of jobs and income. As more foreign investment come into a country, it can lead to even greater investment because others see the country as economically stable. Foreign investment take two forms. One is foreign portfolio investment, which doesn't involve the production and distribution of goods and services. It is not concerned with the control of the host country enterprise. It simply gives the investor a non-controlling interest in the company. Investments in securities on the stock exchange of a foreign country or under the global receipt mechanism is an example of foreign portfolio investment. So in the case of portfolio investments, the investor uses his capital in order to get a return on it, but has no much control over the use of the capital. On the other hand, foreign direct investment, FDI, is very much concerned with the operation and ownership of the host country firm. FDI refers to investment in a foreign country where the investor retains control over the investment. It typically takes the form of starting a subsidiary, acquiring a stake in a, an existing firm, or starting a joint venture in the foreign country. Direct investment and management of the firms concerned normally go together. When we talk about foreign portfolio investment, there are mainly two routes of portfolio investments in India. First, by foreign institutional investors, FIIs like mutual funds, and second, through the global depository receipts, GDRs, American depository receipts, ADRs, and foreign currency convertible bonds, FCCBs. GDRs, ADRs, and FCCBs are instruments issued by Indian companies in the foreign market for mobilizing or raising foreign capital from the foreigners through the Indian securities. Since 1992, Indian companies setting, satisfying certain conditions are allowed to access foreign capital markets by Euro issues. Now the question is, what is the need of foreign capital? why the underdeveloped or underdeveloping countries require foreign capital or foreign investment. So let's discuss each of these factors one by one. Since the underdeveloped countries, they want to industrialize themselves and for this they required a huge amount of investment and this required a huge amount of savings in turn. But because of general poverty of masses, savings are often very low in the underdeveloped or developing countries. Hence, emerges a resource gap between investment and saving. This gap is filled up through the foreign capital. Next is the technological gap. The underdeveloped countries have low level of technology as compared to the advanced countries. This raised the necessity for importing the technology from the developed countries. The technological gap can be filled through the three ways. These are the provision of expert services, training of the personnel and educational research and training institutions in the country. Next is the number of underdeveloped country possessed huge mineral resources which awaits exploitation. These countries themselves do not have the required technical skills and expertise to accomplish this task 
as a result they have to depend upon the foreign capital to undertake the exploitation of their mineral wealth next the private entrepreneurs of the underdeveloped countries avoid taking risk of investment in the new project as a result the foreign entrepreneurs come with the initial risky investments in host countries and provide much needed boost to the process of industrialization and further it has been observed that the domestic capital of the underdeveloped countries is often too inadequate to build up the economic infrastructure on its own thus these countries require the assistance of foreign capital to undertake this task international financial institutions and many governments of the advanced countries made available the substantial amount of capital to these countries to develop their system of transport and communications generation and distribution of electricity development of irrigation facilities etc so these are the factor cause the need of the foreign capital next is the factor influencing foreign investment in country foreign direct investors look into various factors before making investment decisions in a country when we talk about india after 1990 the government of india adopted a new economic policy which promoted the policy of lpg that is liberalization privatization and globalization this has resulted in promoting more foreign direct investments into the country so the various factors and fdi look for before investments are stability of government a stable government is a prerequisite for any investment any foreign investor will always look for a government which is supporting investment and which will not take any steps that are anti investment the investor should not have any fear of take over by the government this will enable him to go for expansion next is the flexibility in government policy flexible governments foreign trade policies encourage foreign investors for investment in other countries also are part per, as per the wto regulation member countries has to adopt flexible policies permitting fdis in all areas including those in which they were prevented previously for example in india power generation was not permitted to private sector now in maharashtra the whole power company is allowed to do so so the next important factor for the foreign investor is the exchange rate stability this means that the value of domestic currency should not drop abnormally by which while repatriating the funds the foreign investor will lose heavily repatriating means conversion of foreign currency into local currency exchange rate should be more or less the same as prevailing at the time of investment next tax policies and concessions government should adopt uniform tax policies as per the international norms a heavy tax excise duty or sales tax or custom duty will prevent foreign direct investment a moderate tax policy should continue so that the fdi will feel comfortable scope of the market fdis must be in a position to exploit the market and expand both in the domestic as well as the foreign market this will reduce their cost of production and will give them ample scope for diversification next is return on investments one of the major attraction for the fdi is the profit or the return they get for the investments made unless the return is substantially higher than what they could have obtained in other countries they will not venture for investment so the return should also be consistent and should be increasing over a period these factors are closely looked into while undertaking investment the finance of financer of the fdis will also ensure that they get their money back as it is a safe investment thus return on investment is a major deciding factor for fdis while undertaking investment in foreign countries weightage is given to each of these factors and decisions are finalized by the foreign investors so most of the countries try to provide investor friendly investment policies and business environment to attract more and more companies to come and invest in their countries now we will discuss what are the advantages of foreign investment to a host country one of the most important reason why a country look to attract more foreign investment is the increased job opportunities that it brings with it increased fdi equity inflows boost both the manufacturing and services sector therefore creating more jobs in the process 
Increased employment means more income and thus economic boost. Foreign investments are beneficial for developing countries. Foreign direct investment in developing countries like India transform backward areas. This translates to an overall economic boost. Also, the business in the host country is exposed to latest technology, financial tools and operational practices from all over the world. The exposure to new and enhanced technology slowly gets infused with into the local economy and leads to increased efficiency and effectiveness. FDI also result in managerial expertise. Skills are enhanced through training and new experiences, which in turn boost the overall human capital quotient of the country. One human capital can train multiple, therefore creating a ripple effect in the process. And in last, the countries having limited domestic resources or restricted possibilities of raising funds in global capital markets especially benefit from this type of investments. So students, this is all about today's session. In the next video and session, I will cover the different modes of foreign investment, means how or through which channels a host country or company can get foreign investment. So in the next session, we will learn about the FDIs and foreign portfolio investment, FPI in detail. So still then, till then, uh, thank you and happy learning.